Hello and welcome to Daily Politics, reaching you from Trust TV here in Abuja. On this program, we discuss issues around politics, policy, and governance. I am Suleiman Suleiman. Today, we focus on the local governments, particularly the FCT local governments, which here we call the area councils. Local governments, the third tier of government in Nigeria, have been known mainly for one thing, the lack of governance. Particularly in the FCT, where we have six area councils, we have had many, many challenges. There have been strikes, protests, and complaints about the provision of public services in the entirety of the FCT. So what are the issues? Why do we have lack of governance at the center of governance? What is really going on, especially given the fact that the FCT is the place that generates the largest revenue in Nigeria after Lagos. This is true for both VAT as well as for internally generated revenue. So with me to look into these issues are Mylan Ahmed Sajo, who was a former commissioner of, Educa uh, commissioner of information in Adama State, a resident of the FCT, and a public affairs analyst who also happens to be a member of the AP, ruling APC. You're yeah, much welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thank My you. pleasure. But before we proceed into the discussion proper, we'll take one minute and we'll be right back. Stay with us. The board and management of Media Trust Limited invites the general public to its annual daily trust dialogue themed 2023, The Politics, Economy and Insecurity. Date, 20th January 2022. Location, NAF Conference Center and Suites, Abuja. Time, 10 a.m. prompt. Chairman of the occasion, former head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, GCFR. Guest speaker, Governor of Kaduna State, Malan Nasr Ahmed El Rufai. Guest speaker, Governor of Ebonyi State, Engineer David Umahi. Guest speaker, former chairman, Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mrs. Ifueko Omoigui Okauru. Moderator, Executive Director, Daria Media Nigeria Limited, Kaderia Ahmed. The event will be transmitted live on Trust TV, and all participants must observe COVID-19 protocols and wear their face masks. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV. And today we're looking at governance in the area councils of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. And with me is Mylan Ahmed Sajo, who has been a long-term resident uh, 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 of the FCT. Uh, sir, what, what are we facing this? What, what, how is the FCT area councils, first of all, related to local government areas in the states? How are they similar and different? So that we look at that uh, uh, governance framework. Uh, no, we'll begin I, from I, I think we, we need to start from somewhere. And okay. the intention of mm -hmm. the creators of the Federal Capital Territory mm -hmm. was uh, not to replicate stru state structures. Okay. It was mm -hmm. to create a different model, mm -hmm. a model that... Uh, is in tune with uh, the intention of the FCT being headed by the president of the federation. Mm -hmm. You know, so the, the the local government in the FCT mm -hmm. are technically a second tier of government, not a third tier of government. Technically, okay. so they're like states because the president is the head of the FCT. Okay, he is just. He delegates that mandate to a minister and mm. the minister of state, but technically he is the head of the FCT. Mm. The National Assembly is the legislative body for the FCT. Mm. Like we have state legislators. Mm. Exactly. Okay. So mm. in the FCT, mm. the situation is nearly totally different from what you have at the state level. Okay. And mm. so the local governments here, were, uh, were never meant to be called local government. That's why they are called area councils. Okay. They're just areas, you know, carved out uh, to coordinate governance, you know, uh, at the lower level on behalf of uh, 
uh, the superstructure, which is the FCT itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so the FCTA is a ministry and is also an administration. That's why it's called FCTA, mm -hmm. Federal Capital Territory Administration. administration. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the minister of FCT. Mm -hmm. You know, over time, mm -hmm. the situation began to evolve. Mm -hmm. The minister of uh, FCT is the only minister that flies a flag. He was the only one that drives in a flag car. Mm. So like, like governors, uh, state governor. Like state governors. Okay. But he does not have a legislature. Mm. His legislature mm. is the National Assembly. Mm. And, 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 and so, unlike governors mm. who could very comfortably hold small discussion with the principal officers of the House of Assembly and say, mm -hmm. dissolve the local government, mm -hmm. appoint caretaker committee for me, increase this, reduce this, determine mm -hmm. their tenure. Mm -hmm. Everything about the FCT area councils is determined by the National Assembly mm -hmm. but and the federal government. Thank you. What, 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 one of the differences between the FCT area councils and local governments in other states is the autonomy the area councils tend to have. They tend to enjoy considerable autonomy. But there is the argument that that autonomy has not resulted into, and uh, are, people cannot find the results of that exactly. autonomy. Exactly. Okay. And I will, tell you, I will tell you why. Okay. You know, in the States, mm. you know, some of us that have served in the States, mm. you know, in the States, mm. with basic understanding mm. between the governor and the, and the legislative house, mm. Any local government chairman can be kicked out. Okay. The FCT minister does not have those powers. To, 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 to he, sack... Uh, he does not have powers to even call the, the area councils to order at some, some point. Mm. Because technically, they are governed by the National Assembly. <coughs> and for the FCT minister to go and uh, seek the, the attention of 109 senators and 360 House of Reps members for him to institute mm. changes in the area councils, it's a, it's a little bit peculiar. Mm. You know, it's difficult. And in any case, <coughs> his relationship with the National Assembly is also limited. Because like I said, he's on the delegated mandate. The National Assembly and the leadership of the National Assembly understands only one head of the executive, which is the president. Mm. So the, the, the FCT minister is technically hamstrung when it comes to, you know, the issues of the area councils. Yeah. But again, <clears throat> you know, uh, the original intention was that the area councils mm. will serve. But, but if, 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 if the FCT minister is so hamstrung, why were this, because since 2019, yeah. one of the major reasons why people have been complaining about FCT administration is that the mandate secretaries were not appointed for quite a long time. And that's the job of the FCT minister to do. And he's just done that in December. How does that relate to the, the, the autonomy that you say this uh, area councils have? No, I, I think so the if the minister is appointing them, that means he has some power. No, the mandate over. secretaries have no control directly okay. over the area councils. The mandate secretaries are supposed to be mm. uh, like commissioners, if you will, okay. mm. for the, for the FCT minister. minister. So these are his own cabinet. His so own so cabinet, to mm. so to speak. Okay. And uh, unlike the cabinet of the states, mm. where the commissioners and the advisors have to take, be taken to the House of Assembly mm. for them to be, uh, to be approved by the House of Assembly before, mm. in the case of the mandate secretaries, all the minister does is to seek the approval of the president. Mm. Okay. So they are not even at par mm. <laughs> with commissioners in the state. Mm. They just they just people to come and help him. Mm. And uh, in the wisdom of the current minister, mm. he felt that the the top hierarchy, the directors that the, the most senior directors in each of the departments mm. could play the role of mandate secretaries until he makes up his mind to appoint mandate secretaries. Mm. Thank you. And they were doing it. Mm. They were doing it effectively, except that, you know, uh, at least political appointees will come with a different vision. Mm. 
the career civil servants have their own vision which is limited by the fact that they are career civil servants mm. they, they they go by the book sometimes mm. but uh, a, a, a political appointee could be innovative mm. in his approach to the mm. to the process I, I think it's interesting that we're starting uh, this discussion you know uh, with the institutional framework uh, of the FC, uh, FCT, which appears more complex than uh, <laughs> otherwise most people would be would, would uh, uh, aware of now. Absolutely. Thank you. But the, it is wanting to have institutions, and regardless of their frameworks, it's another thing to deliver the results, the goods. You know, The FCT is the state, if we call it a state, you know, the territory receives or generates the largest revenue outside of Lagos State. But there have been increasing complaints in recent years, lots of stories in many newspapers, including uh, Daily Trust and, and on, of the absence or the near absence of gov governance in the FCT. People talk about, you know, refuse dumps, you know, uh, piling up across streets, uh, street lights no longer working, infrastructures decaying, and, and so on and so forth. What's actually happening in these areas? Let me tell you, I, I live in an estate where mm. we have almost become our own municipal government. Okay. We, contribute, we, 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 we mm. contributed money to build our roads, we contributed money to provide our water, we, mm. provide, we, we, we pay for our electricity, mm. uh, we, we, we pay our cleaners, we clean our refuse dump, so we are almost like a municipal government, mm. but we are, we are inundated by local the area council staff coming to ask for one tax or the other. Exactly. We're coming to that. Mm. This is the bane of the Nigerian society. Mm. We have a whole lot of uh, responsibilities mm. that are not clearly, you know, defined in the manner that they can be monitored. Mm. Uh, there are entitlements without responsibilities. Okay. This is our mm. problem in this country. Mm. So many agencies of government mm. feel entitled mm. to come and harass you, mm. collect whatever they can collect from you, mm. but they, would, they, they are not obligated to give you service. And, and mm. I, I, give you, I give you one, one very typical example that some of us have been complaining yes. about. Mm. If you do not take an insurance, mm. A security agent can stop you on the way with your car and if you don't have an insurance you have committed an offense mm. so the government the state mm. imposes on you mm. to take an insurance for your vehicle mm. fair and good mm. but when you are to be indemnified you can't go to the government to compel the, the insurance company to indemnify, to indemnify you, you. Mm. i mean so 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 why will government mm. you know harass you for not taking an insurance mm. and then government cannot harass the insurance company for in them for not indemnifying you mm. even when you have all the facts on ground mm. so these are the kind of things mm. the the area councils if you look at them you know part of uh the complaint where that uh, investors are making in this country you know uh, is that mm. we multiple have a lot of charges, multiple taxes, taxations yes. mm. unnecessary mm. some of them no you end. cannot even mm. understand their basis mm. And the area councils mm. are very notorious for that kind of a thing, mm. you know. But we agree. We pay. We pay the taxes. Mm. We, we, make, we make all our contributions. But nobody mm. compels them to offer service. Mm. And, nobody. And, and, and the, the provision of service is so important, particularly in the area councils that are outside of the Abuja, you know, FC, the, the, FC, the, F, you know, F, center, the FC, town. FCC. Uh, FC, the, FCC, FCC, they call FCC it. FCC, too, the, you know. The, the, the places <laughs> like Kuali, Kuji, Wawalada. There is the federal capital city, city. or huh. center. So outside of the city itself. That is the FCC, which, and then there is the FCT, yes. the territory. And this is where the majority of those who work in the city yeah. actually live you exactly. know this is where their families also live exactly you know? places like kuje kuba i you know, was in kuje today so and, and, and so on and, and 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 so forth the infrastructural development in these areas could be, you know uh, in some cases there even was yeah, they're, they're, than they're, they're in rural areas 
they in are, other they are similar, despite definitely. the fact that you have, you know, uh, 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 they are part of the Abuja master plan and their development was supposed to continue in phases and simultaneously as the development of the city itself continues. Why are we not seeing infrastructural developments in these areas? I, I think the, some of us think that mm. the key uh, lacuna in our system in Nigeria mm. is the fact that uh, part two of the constitution is not justiciable. Okay. It speaks about all the things government is supposed to do for you. Mm. But you cannot go to court <laughs> because government did not do what the constitution said government should do to you. Mm. For as long as governments at all levels, federal, state, and local governments, could have, uh, you know, this uh, leeway to, uh, to, to operate the way they think they want to operate, mm -hmm. and that you as the citizen, you know, you, you have all the obligation to government, you have to fulfill all your obligations to government, but government cannot fulfill all its obligations to you mm. and you cannot go to court. Mm. I, I live in an estate. Mm. But because of tenement rate, I'm just coming. I'm, I'm coming. Okay. Because okay. of tenement rate. Yes. Hmm? Mm. The area council took us to court. Mm. We had to, we had That's to one of the key issues but, that people in, but in the Because, mm. you know, mm. they have not served us. They have done nothing. There is no contribution whatsoever mm. from the area council where I live. That's a major I, area of controversy. I can't, I can't in, ask in the FCT. I can't take them, I, can't, I can't take them to court. Mm. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes. Mm. So the relationship between the citizen and the government mm. is such that government has all the rights over you, mm. and you have practically no right over government. Mm. And it's a democracy. Well, whether it is a democracy or not a democracy, mm. the truth about it is that, like I said, I mean, if you read the part, so two, citizens have the part two mm. of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria yes. makes it very clear. Mm. Fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy. Mm. The whole it's, essence of governance. The whole essence is governance is, in, is, the is, in, of the that, in the service of the citizen. Mm. But that portion is not justiciable. Mm. So is, if the government refuses is, to serve you... Is it the justifiability? Because that one is really about maybe going to court to demand a service or... Yeah, uh, and, 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 if it and, were so justiciable, is, of is course. It, is it necessarily that it has to be in the constitution? For example, what about the National Assembly? Which, in the case of the FCT, they are also the legislature serving the, the, and, the FCT. And, 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 Isn't and I will there tell you, something that they and can do? I will do? tell you this. Yes. The tenement rate you gave, you, you gave us an example. Mm. Now, the, the, FC, the, FC, the FCT area councils went out collect, attempting to collect tenement rate. Mm. And somebody felt that the law is supposed to be enacted by the National Assembly. Yes. That without a National Assembly law in place, mm. they cannot go and collect anything from anybody. Mm. After all, it's taxation. The taxation person has went to, be... to, to, okay. to court. Okay. The High Court upheld the prayer that the FCT area council should stop collecting tenement rates mm. bef bec before a law to that effect by the National Assembly. Mm. The area councils went on appeal. Okay. Now the court of appeal said no, they can collect without a law from the National Assembly. Okay. So at, as as I am talking to you now, mm. there are two stages being awaited. Mm. Either that the National Assembly enacts a law mm. to control the tenement rate thing, mm. or in the alternative, the Supreme Court decides mm. based on the judgment of the, of the, lower <laughs> appeal, court. the, the, the appeal court okay. whether it is legal for them to collect it or illegal mm. for them to collect it. Mm. But how long? Again, this is where mm. we are appealing to both the legislature mm. and the judiciary. Mm. In the interest of the citizen, mm. there are but, issues that should not be prolonged. Mm. Nothing stops the National Assembly from addressing this issue you know, as expeditiously as they, 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 they do other issues.
They, they, they have just finished the budget law. The president has signed, and it's within a period of three months. Yeah. Why can't they do this for the citizens who live in FCT yeah. within a, a short period so that we can have a clearer picture yeah. of what happens yeah. with regards to the rates, the, the, the conditions, the procedures for, uh, for, for dispute, the yeah. time frame, the, the procedures for, for dispute resolutions and things like that. The National Assembly could do that. Or in the alternative, the Supreme Court you know, it, it, it should take up the case since it's already before the Supreme Court mm. and then bring it to, uh, to the front banner mm. and address the issue and tell us whether they really have a right because we now have two, two different judgments. Mm. The High Court said this, the Higher Court, uh, the, the Court of Appeal, which is yes, higher said so. Mm. So, so, so it's now for the Supreme Court to decide uh, whether the court below was right or the court below. Usually in the appeal court decide something, then that means that, that that decision supersedes that of the law. Yeah, court. Nat naturally, that's the, that's, naturally, that's the, naturally. The, 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 so unless someone, and that's why people are saying maybe there is no citizen act, uh, action enough. That is, people are grumbling individually, but, but, but no there is no collective, uh, yes, no an organized action. Say so, okay, but, but we are taking this case all the way to Supreme Court under the particular Abuja citizens, so and so and so and so. But so maybe then, that too is part then of the again, No, I okay. think the National Assembly, everybody who lives in this FCT mm. has a representative, either a senator or a House of Reps member. Yes. Why can't we approach them okay. and say, look, the, 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 the situation in the FCT mm. is so fluid, we need you to intervene mm. and make a law. Mm. The, the other time I witnessed you know, it was reported in one of the dailies, I don't know whether it was Daily Trust, mm -hmm. that if, uh, uh, AMAC Area Council mm -hmm. was going to the market to ask for um, tax on generators being used in the market. Mm -hmm. And look, it's, 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 it's damn ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Here is a government mm -hmm. that, know, should provide... that should provide power, yes. has not been able to provide power. Mm -hmm. An individual you know, at a very huge cost mm. to, to the person's business, mm. provides himself power because power is necessary for his mm. And that business, business is being taxed separately. And then, that, that business is being taxed. Mm. Then now you're taxing the person for providing power to himself. Mm. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, mm. you know. But again, who is supposed to save us from this kind of ridiculousness? Mm. It's definitely the National Assembly. Mm. It's not any other person. The National Assembly, because, uh, like I said, the FCT minister cannot wake up and say area council don't do this. Mm. Thank you. So, but we also have issues, for example, not just of uh, uh, of taxation and and, and 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 revenue collection, but of their management. You know, like I've been trying to say, uh, like uh, I, I was saying earlier, the the the, the FCT generates quite a lot of internally uh, uh, internal revenues particularly from all these tenement rates from all and, and and so on but everywhere you turn you see uh, refuse dumps that have been laid bare you know and, and so on the basic sanitation you know of the city and we're even talking about the fcc the one that is the federal mm -hmm. capital city itself, itself you know we're not even talking yet of the, the where people call I, I, satellite I, towns. I, I went to Kujia and, and I saw. And, and, I know what I. I what you I know saw what I with saw, your yes. So things are even worse in 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 this area. What's wrong? What's what's going on with the basic management and administration of the funds at various departmental I will tell levels? You, okay. you know, basically, mm. Mm. Uh, in the states again, mm. the state houses of assembly sometimes conduct their oversight. On the local government okay the look the state government itself mm -hmm. has ministries of local government responsible for oversight on the local governments mm -hmm. so there, 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 there there's a level of oversight mm -hmm. whether effective or ineffective mm -hmm. there's a level of oversight at the state level mm -hmm. there is no such level of oversight in the F F FCDA. Okay. fcta mm -hmm. the state the the, the the minister of state is responsible for oversight on uh, the area councils, mm. she has she goes round to see them, mm. but because the law mm. does not definitely give the FCTA 
the powers to take the kind of actions that governors would have taken mm. if they go on oversight or they send a team for oversight. Yes. They are hamstrung. Mm. Then the National Assembly, you know, the committee on FCT is supposed to occasionally undertake oversights mm. to what is happening at the uh, at the area councils mm. and uh, the communities within yeah. the FCT. After that committee specifically, to... both of the House and of the Senate, they will be specifically the ones that are supposed to be even the legislatures yeah. for the FCT because that's their day-to-day -day, Their concern you know, mm. in most cases yeah. is what happens at the FCT. Oh, okay. Where there are lands and uh, the land issues, mm. there are governance issues, mm. there is a uh, budget issues and the rest. Okay. This is where they do their oversight mostly. Mm. The oversight on the area councils is very, very minimal. Mm. And oversight in the area councils will make them more effective in service delivery. Okay. But I think there is uh, limitations of oversight on the area councils. Mm. Uh, Thank you. So uh, we'll be taking a break. Uh, when we come back, we'll be looking at several other areas of governance in the federal capital uh, territory. For example, we'll be considering areas of security, what roles the actual uh, council chairman uh, uh, play, and how we can all better address these issues. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV, and today we're looking at governance in the F uh, federal capital territory. Stay with us. The Board and Management of Media Trust Limited invites the general public to its annual Daily Trust Dialogue, themed 2023, The Politics, Economy and Insecurity. Date, 20th January 2022. Location, NAF Conference Center and Suites, Abuja. Time, 10 a.m. prompt. Chairman of the occasion, former Head of State, General Abdusalami Abubakar, GCFR. Guest Speaker, Governor of Kaduna State, Malan Nasr Ahmed El Rufai. Guest Speaker, Governor of Ibonyi State, Engineer David Umahi. Guest Speaker, Former Chairman, Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mrs. Ifueko Omoigui Okauru. Moderator, Executive Director, Daria Media Nigeria Limited, Kaderia Ahmed. The event will be transmitted live on Trust TV, and all participants must observe COVID-19 protocols and wear their face masks. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV. And today we're talking about, we're extraying the performance of area councils in the FCT ahead of the coming council elections. So maybe we can just go right into the elections, uh, uh, Marta. The, the elections to the, uh, um, uh, to the FCT area councils are quite unique, just like the area councils themselves, you know, separate from... Uh, from the, the and we're having them in, in 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 February. To what extent do you see these issues that we have been discussing? You know, service deliveries and and and, and so. On. To what extent are they going to shape uh, uh, these elections in the uh, EFCT? I mean, I, I I don't know, but you you know, one one of the most unique difference mm -hmm. between area councils elections mm -hmm. and uh, local government elections in states. Mm -hmm is the electoral body responsible. Mm. In the area councils, it's INEC. Mm. In the states, mm. it's usually the state electoral commissions. Mm. And sometimes, you know, the, 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 the leadership of the state electoral commission is just invited to say, look, mm. uh, our party must win everything. Mm. And you see what the party in power in every state sweeping all the seats. Mm. That cannot happen in the FCT. Mm. INEC conducts the elections and nobody tells them this is what I want. I remember in 2016, mm. the elections in the area councils, mm. I was uh, invited to come here and be in charge of the, the APC situation room. Mm. And then it was a newly formed APC, APC. government. Mm. And uh, 
everything was done mm. to make sure that the APC sweeps the six councils. Okay. But uh, Zakaria Angulu, mm. you know, yeah. held on to, to their own to respective uh, to the his PDP. own mm. local government. Yes, mm. and it wasn't even PDP. Mm. He brought in an APGA candidate. Okay. Mm. <laughs> and the APGA candidate defeated uh, mm. the APC and the APC PDP. candidate. Mm. Mm. So, so, so you, you, you know, you can't have that kind of a situation in the states. Mm. But again, the FCT is supposed to be a cosmopolitan city for Nigeria. Mm. Well, it's supposed to be a cosmopolitan city, mm. but a lot of the area councils are still, you know, uh, as pedestrian as any other community in any other state. Mm. So all the issues that affect politics in other mm. climes also happen here. Mm. Uh, ethnicity, religion, mm. uh, allegiances, mm. and party they, affiliations. They all mm. come to play. Mm. So And they are stronger than the issues I and you are talking about. Mm. Incidentally, you know, there are many of the issues that affect those of us that are elites. Mm. And one of the greatest or the saddest reality of the Nigerian political system is that the educated elite mm. and the elite generally okay. do not pay much attention to the politics. Mm. So a mm. lot of times politics is left for the people who feel that they are just ordinary citizens. Mm. They determine what goes yeah, on. Under them. Mm. So one, a, a, a one con man mm. who knows how to manipulate ethnicity mm. or religion mm. or region, whatever, takes over mm. and manipulates these lower people mm. who do not care about the issues you are talking about mm. in the public uh, space. Yes. Who mm. only care about is the chairman a Gwandara or is he a Bagi or mm. is he a Gade or is he, you know, he begins to think, oh, is he Hausa or is it Yoruba, is it Igbo? Mm. That's all the, the, the mm. one. So, then another one will say, mm. is he a Muslim or a Christian? I will do this, I will do that. Mm. And so these, mm. issues, but these are issues you expect to be quite minimal in a cosmopolitan, in a cosmopolitan environment. Cosmopolitan like environment. The FCT. But mm. where is the cosmopolitan environment? Mm. It's only the FCC. That is the city. Cosmopoli mm. co cosmopolitan. Mm. All the other area councils are not cosmopolitan. Okay. They are actually, you know, as uh, typical mm. as any other community in Nigeria. Okay. Even if you have a mm. sprinkle of mm. old people from other parts there, mm. they are overwhelmed by the people they met the in those areas. Mm. The, the original intention mm. of uh, an, an FCT mm. that was a virgin land that could be owned by everybody in Nigeria mm. did not work. Mm. It did not work. Because the locals exist. The and, locals they exist and they have they rights as well. They have rights to their land. And they, have, they, are, they, are, they are larger than those of us that came mm. in number. Mm. Not to say that people who came had not won elections here. No, 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 no. Okay. A lot of people have won elections mm. Particularly here. Particularly the senatorial the elections. The senatorial mm. and the House of Reps. House of Reps. A lot yes. of people have won mm. those elections. Mm. But if you notice, increasingly, mm. you know, the, a, the original inhabitants, the mm. elites mm. Are within the original inhabitants mm. have been sensitizing their people to with their large numbers. Mm. And so the, the elections are becoming... Uh, more and more People like Philip Aduda for Amak, <laughs> Lad Ijen for Kujay and so on. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So now the the system is becoming more and more mm. uh, localized. Mm. When it comes to election, they, they, there is very little cosmopolitan. Mm. So what about the parties? Because you know, right now they're like <laughs> divided in between the, the PDP and the uh, and the APC, yeah. and especially. The the APC did not win uh, the two presidential elections in the in the, in the F, uh, FCT if my my the, my memory is, is is correct. So, what role do you think the parties will be playing towards this uh, next uh, next month's elections? Do you foresee the PDP uh, defeating or taking over most of the area councils? And what will that portend 
for the coming general elections uh, in the country. Would that say anything about From that? my experience in 2016, yes. managing uh, the situation room of the APC and uh, training all the agents, mm. that, uh, you know, for all the polling units in the mm. FCT, uh, what mm. I've come to learn mm. is that political heavyweights mm. within the FCT hold mm. sway. So it depends on where they belong. Mm. You know, the Adudas, the, the, mm. the Bangulus, and the, mm. they are the ones that determine mm. what happens. Okay. You know, sometimes, but most times, alliances are formed. Okay. If you look at the current leadership of AMAC, mm. it was an alliance between the Gwandara mm. and the Igbo. Okay. Because we have a, 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 a reasonable... Well, the APC is in charge in AMAC. Yes. Okay. We have, a, we have a reasonable population of Igbo people resident within the, 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 the AMAC mm. axis. But generally, they are non Igbos are non APC. They, they, are, they are PDP voting. In most other parts of the in, country, isn't yes, it? But, Even in, but in this mm. case, you know, where the, a party gives them a position okay. like the vice chairman of oh, I see. the area council. I see. Mm. Or... Uh, As part of the alliance. A, a, a part of the alliance. Okay. You know, if you notice that the vice chairman to the AMAC chairman is an evil person. Yes. You know, mm. so where they have mm. a stake, mm. you know, they, they, they normally go there. Mm. So they let's go where the mouth is. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There are a yeah. lot of uh, promises. Mm. Uh, you know, we will give you this number of supervisory councillors, mm. and then there are places where they have mm. they are very strong uh, the, candidates the, for councillor mm. and things like that. Okay. Alliances will be built. Mm. I tell you this. But what about places where you have strongholds for you know respective parties? For example, a PD, PDP is strong in Kuali strong in areas like Abaji, you know, uh, and, and, you know, so uh, do you think APC can make any inroads into those areas it all, or it all, is it, it going all, to be split again? It all, it all depends. Okay. You know, uh, one good thing about uh, the, the development of our politics, whether we like mm. it or not, is that mm. Nigerians are gravitating gradually towards uh, identifying credible candidates. Okay. Mm. So candidates also play a role. Mm. And then uh, there is this unwritten agreement called mm. zoning. Mm. Sometimes it also comes to play okay. where a particular section within a, 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 a voting area, mm. you know, continuously dominates. Mm. Then there is this agitation that it must move to the other side. Yeah. And then when, when that agreement is not actualized, Sometimes mm -hmm. it affects the voting pattern. Okay. So a lot of things do affect the voting pattern. But mm -hmm. the unfortunate thing is that the real issues of service mm -hmm. delivery mm -hmm. hardly affect voting patterns mm -hmm. in the country, not just in the FCT, but in the, in the, in the, in the entire country. And that is why mm -hmm. we, we continuously lament the kind of governance we're mm -hmm. getting. So let's go back to governance <clears throat> from the politics again. One of the major uh, issues that have been raised in recent years in the FCT is security. There was a recent, in December last year, I think, there were uh, a youth organizations that protested to the Secretariat of AMAC or Secretariat of the FCTA, you know, complaining about rising insecurity. And <clears throat> areas like Kuje, areas like Abaji, you know, uh, Suleja, just the environs, you know, Nasara here around uh, the FCT have been, you know, cases, reported cases of kidnappings, of banditry and so on and so forth have really heightened in recent uh, uh, months in, in, in the FCT. What, 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 what do you, and that's a new thing, you know, here in the FCT. What do you think is going on? Is it that the, because the, the minister specifically of the, of, of the FCT has not even addressed this issue even once. Unlike you see the state governor would maybe give an address, you know, either at a mosque or at a church or at, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, 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 some function and talk to these uh, citizens of the state about insecurity in this, in the FCT. We have not seen that from the minister. No, from the president, who is the, the what, what's really I, going I, on? I, I think uh, there's a lot of 
probably communication management on the part of the FCTA. Okay. But uh, the FCTA has done a lot about this. Okay. I, I have been privileged mm. to attend two or three uh, security council meetings okay. with uh, security agencies and also with um, uh, community leaders, religious leaders mm. to construct a security architecture that safeguards the FCT. Mm. But you must also appreciate the fact that um, so many people with serious criminal tendencies have infiltrated the FCT mm. for good measure. Mm. We have a huge community of displaced persons from insurgency ravaged areas and from uh, banditry ravaged areas mm. who moved into the FCT. Mm. And from my experience, in the northeast it's not everybody who comes in as an idp mm. that is actually an idp okay the one of the first things that confronted us as a government mm. in 2015 you're talking about formed, adama state yeah in adama state when okay. we formed the government in adama, one of the mm. most unfortunate things that confronted us was that mm. some people with uh, some sympathizers of the insurgents mm you know, found their ways into an IDP camp and detonated a bomb. Mm. So most times when you see people rush to a place, mm. uh, you know, because they feel threatened where they're coming from, mm. in their deluge to come to the safe heaven, mm. some of the criminals accompany them unknowingly. Okay. Because when, when, but when does you're... Does that not say more about the collapse of intelligence of the FCT yes. than about the challenge, you know? Well, so they are both, they are both, they are both related. Okay. They are both related. Intelligence, because if you have a robust intelligence, intelligence gathering is system, beyond, then you should be able to, is beyond the to intelligence. prevent distance. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Intelligence is beyond the intelligence agencies. Okay. You know? uh, the reason why these things are better in a place like Borno, for example, my degree, I will tell you mm. that it's reached a point where parents were reporting their children to the to, to the security agencies, mm. because these things intelligence can only work mm. if the community cooperates. Mm. If we are all running away from what we see as danger, mm. and but, among but it us, is the job of the intelligence agencies, <coughs> right? and the government to put in, in place that structure that people will welcome to do their own beat in uh, contributing absolutely, intelligence. Absolutely. So they have not done that. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. And we also, like I told you, mm. that um, in most cases when you have IDPs mm. or persons who move from certain locations to a place, they should be profiled. Okay. Let me tell you one of the security threats that we face in this FCT. Okay. If you see motorcycle riders in FCT, in all the area councils, you see motorcycle riders, majority of them are riding motorcycles that have no number plate. Hmm. At any point, they commit an offense, they, they abandon the motorcycle and go. Hmm. But these are, these are in large numbers in the council areas outside of the city. They're everywhere in... in in, in, exactly. in Kuboa, in, in So Kujie, if you in... find a safe heaven mm. at the ferry ferry, mm. it's very easy for you to move to the center, commit a crime and move back to the ferry ferry and feel safe. Mm. So if you do not address the security situation at the ferry ferry, mm. you're opening up the center. Mm. There is no safe heaven for everyone mm. in the city center unless they save heaven for everyone everywhere within the FCT. Yes. So I agree with you in total mm -hmm. that the key mm -hmm. to managing security, not just in the FCT, but in the entire country, mm -hmm. is effective intelligence gathering. Mm -hmm. In Intel, you know, mm -hmm. determines in fact our intelligence, our intel mm -hmm. should determine the kind of response we do. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, there are battles that you can only win through kinetic methods. Yes. There are some that you can win it requires through soft non, -kin non kinetic mm. methods. Yes. You know. But the what will determine the nature of your approach mm. should be intelligence. 
So Absolutely. we need to up our intelligence. Mm -hmm. We need to profile newcomers. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it is uh, we have freedom of movement and 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 all that, but we could attempt to profile some newcomers, mm -hmm. especially people who whose uh, job you cannot ascertain. Mm -hmm. yeah, and 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 you know, but most importantly, also we need to begin to call criminals criminals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Public profiling mm -hmm. could also be counterproductive. Thank you. So but all of these problems and these challenges of the FCT, mm -hmm. a lot of people are laying it straight at the doorstep of the minister of the F FCT and they're fingering things like uh, his style of leadership that, for example, uh, you, you had many years without the appointment of the mandate secretaries, you know, just like governors in 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 Edo state where they have one 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 state cabinet so the one man cabinet where you just have the governor and nobody else whereas the appointment of commissioners is something that is contained in the constitution of the, the, the of the country exactly the way ministers are also uh, part of uh, the, the, the constitution so in this case we went three years without uh, mandate secretaries, that is, no commissioners for respective departments, health, education, and so on, leading to the, you know, stages where, uh, 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 what's it called, teachers were, were went on strike, you know, and, and, and so on. So is that part of the problem? You know, is it the governance uh, style of this present uh, administration of the FCT, particularly? I, I, I think people are also not being very fair to the minister. Okay. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, mm. uh, this minister, whether mandate secretaries or no mandate secretaries, mm. have intervened in infrastructure development within mm. the FCT. But without the secretaries, than, how would he do that? More than any other person. Okay. Uh, the FCTA, like I told you, is not running like a state. Mm. It's not running like a state. Okay. It's ru it runs based on the FCTA law. Mm. And if you check the law mm. by not appointing the mandate secretaries, in truth, the minister did not breach any part of the law. Interesting. Mm. He needed, he, but there is a need to have appointed these people mm. so that they can come, like I told you, with their innovative sense of understanding of what their mandates were, mm -hmm. that's what they are called mandate secretaries, yes. so they can aid the governance process. Mm -hmm. But even in their absence, the most senior directors in the different departments have been mm -hmm. acting secretaries of those departments. Mm -hmm. And they had all the powers to act as secretaries okay. of those departments. And these departments were running. Mm -hmm. Not that they, they've never slowed down mm -hmm. one bit. Okay. But everybody has his own style. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are people that are vociferous about the way they run their systems. Mm. There are people that are very slow, but are acting uh, somewhat, some, somewhat underground, but they're doing, they're achieving results. Mm. So perhaps this is his own style. Okay. But I am sure if he had violated any of the laws establishing the FCTA, mm. uh, either the National Assembly would have called him to order, mm. or somebody would have challenged him in court. Mm. So as far as I know, Mm, maybe you know, somebody should. Mm. So, somebody would have, <laughs> okay. and the courts would have told the person probably that mm. the guy did not violate any law, mm. and that is why even the National Assembly did not call him to order. Okay. Mm. Unlike in the States, I, 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 I am a living example of uh, the protection of the Constitution with respect to commissioners. Commissioners in the States. Mm. The governor of my state mm. sent my name to the House of Assembly. Mm. The House of Assembly refused to either clear me mm. or return the name to the governor. Mm. It stays with the House of Assembly for 22 working days. Mm. And I went to section 192, subsection 5, mm. where it says that if your name stays in the House mm. for 21 working days, mm. you are cleared so, by the Constitution. Mm. I was cleared by the Constitution. Mm. So the Constitution is so, very clear about commissioners. So uh, as a final question, yeah. what, you know, just one of the last uh, minutes that we have on the program, what, what, what can be done to improve the governance of the FCT administration? Oversight. Okay. Very simple. Mm. Oversight. By whom? By the National Assembly in particular. Okay. And by the agencies mm. that have been established 
to manage the area councils. Okay. They have area council uh, audit. Okay. Uh, they, are, they have area councils mm. uh, uh, commissions. Mm. They have area councils. I mean, they have agencies responsible for ensuring that the area councils deliver. Mm. The, the area council primary education board should be able to go around mm. and make sure that the monies that are being given to area councils to, 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 to area councils to mm. manage primary schools or to support the primary education and mm. are done correctly. Okay. So, so with that oversight, mm. you know, no area council will be up and doing. Thank so you. it's oversight that is required at all levels. Mm. But so, most importantly, by the National Assembly. Interesting. So oversight, 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 oversight. That is the crux of our discussion today. If we wanted to improve the governance system in the FCT, and I guess throughout the country. There is no governance without some form of oversight, without some form of checks and balances. This is the real takeaway from our discussion today. And here we draw a curtain uh, for today's program. Tomorrow we'll be bringing you yet another edition of Daily Politics. Join us and always enjoy it. Bye-bye. I am Suleiman Suleiman. Thank you.